Okay. I'd like to welcome everyone here to our regular board meeting. This evening we have with us Pastor Ellen McCubbin from Hope Mills United Methodist Church right to lead us in our... Sir? Commissioner Legg is right there. Okay. Commissioner Legg's coming in. Oh, Pat, well, Pastor, Ellen, Pastor Ellen McCubbin from, <laughs> McCubbin from Hope Mills United Methodist Church and we'll wait just a second to start until Commissioner Legg gets in his seat. Matter of fact, I want to let him know that he gets no talking time tonight. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you guys will stand. Okay. You will all please stand. Let us pray. Holy God, we ask your blessings on the people who have been called to lead the community in which we live and work and play. Remind them, because we all forget from time to time, especially in the noisiness of what passes for political debate today, remind them and us that they are not only leaders but also servants, and that it is their responsibility and our responsibility to serve the common good of all. Remind them that no matter where we live, everyone is our neighbor. Remind all of us that throughout the ages, Prophets have called the leaders of the people to respect and protect the least of those among us, our children, the elderly, the poor, those who are hungry, those who have no homes, those who are sick, the strangers and the immigrants in our midst, those who live on the margins, those who are alone and those who are forgotten. Grant our leaders and grant us the wisdom and courage to know and do what is right and good and true and be transparent in all our actions. May they and we speak out when it is time to speak out and listen patiently, receptively, and respectfully when it's time to listen. May they and we always be guided by the spirit of community, by the spirit of justice, and by your spirit of love. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. At this time, do we have any additions or deletions from our agenda? If motion not, to approve. I have a agenda. motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Have a motion and second. All those in favor signify by raising your right hand. Seeing none opposed. Official comments. I'll start this evening with uh, Commissioner Marley. I don't have anything right now, uh, Mayor. <laughs> Commissioner Scarola. Um, yes, Madam Mayor. Okay. Um, this weekend, I went and uh, went to a fundraiser for the Underground Railroad. Um, it's ran by Miss Melanie Stewart. Um, she is very, very um, a loving woman. She helps the homeless communities. Um, she actually goes out into the homeless camps and helps any way she can with food. Um, she has a Facebook page set up and she has multiple ways if people choose to donate. Um, it's a very, very good um, way that she helps people um, who need that immediate need. Um, if anyone wants any information, they can get with me offline. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem? Um, the only thing that I have is a reminder of the Summer Scapes program for children that will be hosted here at town um, at Parks and Recs through FCCC. Some of them will be hosted at Southview Middle School and then some on main campus and um, other than that, no, just go heal. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> uh, Commissioner Mitchell? No, not at this present time, Madam Mayor. Just thanks everybody for coming out. Commissioner Legg? Yeah, I want to thank everyone that <clears throat> come out this evening for this meeting. Uh, I still want to request prayer for my brother in Kentucky. And if you would remember that the opening day ceremonies for youth baseball, softball, Hope Mills uh, with Mr. LaMarco. 
is this coming Saturday. I invite all of you to attend. And is it 8.30 or 9? <clears throat> We're on our... It starts at 9 o'clock. Right, okay. Because it's on the marquee, it says 8.30, but 9 o'clock. Teams are supposed to be there at 8.30 to get okay. them get, situated. Get situa all righty, sounds good. The only thing I have this evening is really good news, and I wanted to <clears throat> give everyone an update on our YMCA partnership. Um, we did find, uh, we met with the finance committee of the Coma County Commissioners. We met with the Coma County Commissioners, and at their, com their uh, finance committee unanimously approved, the commissioners unanimously approved, so that they're partnering with us. And then this week, the, the Coma County Board of Education uh, Finance Committee approved. So now we have all the partners in place. And the YMCA, as of today, is, has raised close to $2 million to build a structure. So it's on, and we're looking at 18 months from when we can break ground. And we can't break ground until they actually raise either 2 and a half to $3 million, but they're looking like it's going to happen. So we will have a swimming complex, indoor pool, competitive lanes for Hope Mills. All right, next we have no presentation, no public hearings no public comments is there anything on your consent agenda that you would like move to new business if not or if so um, motion to approve the have a motion agenda. to approve the consent second. agenda have a second all those in favor signify by raising your right hand seeing none opposed um, old business we have none new business there is none the manager's report is there anything that you would like to add to it or go over with the board in your manager's report so I would like to point out that we received the TOT right away um, offer. So the town has two, two parcels out front that they're actually taking as they do the rockfish widening project. Um, if, if you would approve, I would like to have authority to negotiate. They're already negotiated and established. don't have to negotiate. So if you would um, provide me the authority to accept those, and then I'll bring them back and update the council on what they were and provide that in the detail. Okay, do we have I'll make that motion, Mayor. Okay, we have a motion to authorize our town manager to negotiate with DOT on the right of way. Um, May I ask a question? Yes, sir. How much footage are they going to need? Um, I do have the maps in my other office. So, you know, the right of way is larger than, than the road, yeah. It's a lot like the map in the back corner. Uh -huh. It's more detailed and they've been surveyed and uh, other books have looked at and gone, printed them out for us. Um, I'd be happy to show you those afterwards. Yeah, Madam Mayor. Based on, uh, on y'all understanding, very little or no negative impact, right? It, it's minimal. I mean, I guess it depends. We're, we're losing a lot of our trees and things on the planet. Oh, trees. Um, the lanes and recreational space, usable space. That's what I'm concerned about. Trees, I don't care. <coughs> All right. They're actually improving recreational space from right, what I saw. Is that true? I, I believe so. I don't, I don't think that the fence at Broward is going to be impacted. It'll probably be in, in, in some kind of an agreement where it's, if we have to have a remove for utility access, we might have to put it back at our own expense or something of that nature. But I don't, I don't think it's going to impede us for actually a little bit and impedes it. That's great. Hey. Right. Like I said, I'm an engineer or an assessor. Okay. Do you have a second, Mayor? Yeah. Have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. All right. Next, we have, I, I did check with all the commissioners prior to the meeting. And at this point, we do not have any updates with from our committees. Uh, we do have the Sunshine Committee will be having its first meeting. It is uh, fully membered now. Uh, the liaison for that will be uh, Commissioner Mitchell and myself, and we'll uh, rotate. One of us will be there um, when they meet. But this way, we didn't obligate both of us. Um, I mean, didn't we didn't have one commissioner that could handle the committee on their own. Um, the rest of the committees will have upcoming meetings. Do we have any staff comments?
Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Any other staff comments? If not, do we have a motion for a closed session? Madam Mayor, I'd like to call a closed session pursuant to 143-318-11-A7 to hear reports on investigation of alleged criminal conduct. I have a motion. Do I have second. a second? Have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. Seeing none opposed, we'll go to the front conference room and we'll be back as quickly as we can. At this time, I'll call our meeting back to order. Do we have a motion? I'd like to move to seal the minutes of the closed session to such time as the release of the information will no longer frustrate the purpose of the closed session. Further no action was taken. Have a motion, have a second. Second. Have a motion, a second. All those in favor, signify by, by raising your right hand. At this time, would we have a motion to adjourn so everybody can go home and motion watch the adjourn. Tar Heels? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. But I want to stay.